Thank you, Hillary. Next, I want to bring up, and I am a member of the Moss Squad, I want to bring up our Board of Equalization member, Vivacious, energetic, please help me welcome you, you are out of, out of, not yet, you're out of order. Next, I want to bring up Fiona Ma, out of order. We have it on the agenda, out of order, out of order. Please help me welcome Fiona Ma. It's really hard to follow Josh Newman. You know, last year I had my drummers, but they are in finals right now. So perhaps I will bring my horse, since Ma means horse in Chinese, since, you know, this whole thing is a zoo sometimes, right? <laughs> but happy Sunday. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for uh, staying and being here today. If you're a history buff, you're probably not surprised when people say, here we go again. But our 2016 presidential election was unprecedented and shocking in so many ways. On the Republican side, there were many candidates for president, yet the most unqualified person somehow got elected and is tweeting every day, proving us right. On our Democratic side, we had two great candidates. Hillary Clinton was extremely qualified, experienced, and ready to lead. We also had Bernie Sanders, who was also. Yes, we had Bernie Sanders, who was also qualified, experienced, and ready to lead. And it was Bernie who inspired millions of Americans to get engaged, to stand up, have their voice heard, and join his political revolution. I see many of you felt the burn from a man who touched the hearts and minds of everyday people. He was extremely vocal against the greed of Wall Street and how unconscionable it was that so many people lost their homes during the mortgage crisis. How we should take the big corporate money out of politics by overturning Citizens United. how everyone should have universal health care, and be able to take care of our kids through parental leave programs. And he was willing to talk about the big elephant in the room, which is racial inequality on our streets and discrimination in our criminal justice system. So does Bernie sound like someone else we know closer to home? In 2005, as John Burton left the legislature, the California Journal wrote, gone will be the Senate's most vehement partisan for social services for the poor, the Senate's angriest voice against tax breaks for businesses and the wealthy, its loudest voice for the protection of workers and its fiercest pro-labor advocate. Those words capture our friend John Burton well. And like last year when I was giving my tribute to him, he also was not on the stage. For the past eight years, as chair of our party, John Burton and our leadership team here on the stage helped elect more Democrats across the state with very little cussing needed. 
California is now solidly blue. So let's give John Burton and his team a big round of applause. So before there were Bernie Kratz, there were Burton Kratz. Now we all need to come together first and foremost to elect more Democrats to Congress next year. Demo Democrats in Congress are targeting 61 Republican seats across the nation and seven are right here in California. This is a great opportunity for California to turn these seats blue. These districts voted solidly for Hillary Clinton in the general election. So I'm guessing that the voters in these districts are a little more fired up since Trump took election. <laughs> Democrats, let's get out and walk and talk in these districts and show the nation what it means to be a California Democrat. We also need you to join Dem 2018 by donating today or committing monthly to ensure we hold onto our statewide and legislative seats here in California, especially Josh Newman. In Orange County, we cannot let the Republican recall effort against Senator Newman succeed, right? Immigrants built California and we need to continue to welcome one and all. We need to protect those most vulnerable amongst us. Education and health care should be a right and not a privilege. We all have some sort of pre-existing condition, and thanks to Obamacare, I know my family and I sleep better at night. Women are 50% of the population, and yet half of the workforce Yet female, full-time, year-round workers make only 80 cents for every dollar earned by men. We need to do better. And I'm extremely proud that California has led the nation in civil rights, LGBTQ rights, climate change, and choice. So in closing, some of us are older and have been coming to these CDP conventions to fight the good fight for many years. Some are outspoken pioneers like John Burton, Bernie Sanders, Barbara Boxer, Nancy Pelosi, Barbara Lee, Dolores Huerta, and so many others. And some of us are younger and are now joining the cause and the resistance. We need you. We need each and every one of you. In the end, we all hold the same core values in our hearts. So let's come together as one big, happy, diverse, beautiful, amazing Democratic Party family and keep the La La dream alive. Thank you all and God bless. Yeah.